The door opens, and out come America's Apollo 11 astronauts, waving, uh, albeit their faces completely covered by these B.I.G. suits. On the one hand, you've got rooms full of scientists saying, we don't think there are any germs up there, but should there be, we ain't going to expose the population of the Earth to these germs. So they had all these procedures. But then, look at it this way. Suppose there were germs on the moon. The germs on the moon, we come back, the command module's full of lunar germs. Command module lands in the Pacific Ocean, and what do they do? They open the hatch, you gotta open the hatch, all the damn germs come out. You have to laugh a little bit, because when you get in the lifeboat uh, out of the spacecraft, you have this biological isolation garment, the big garment. They've got disinfectant and they got a rag and they sponge you down. And when they get through, they uh, have a weight and they tie it around the rag and they throw it overboard and it takes all those germs down the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> oh, I wonder if they're gonna survive down there. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. There was a a, a huge flaw in the, in the planning. President Nixon waving to the astronauts. The curtains have been drawn. There they are in the rear window. Have you been able to follow some of the things that happened when you've gone? Did you know about the All-Star Game? Yes, yes sir. The, uh, the capsule communicators have been giving us uh, they daily keep news reports. Yeah. Yes, Were you American League or National League? I'm a National League man. National I'm nonpartisan, sir. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There's the politician in the group. <laughs> right. <laughs> we had to be in isolation, I believe, uh, 21 days from the time we left the moon. It wasn't as if some horrible injustice had been done to us. It was, uh, it was fine. I was glad to be back. <laughs>